This little boy was shaky after hitting his head, and then doctors made an alarming discovery. When a young boy began feeling weak after hitting his head, his worried parents rushed him to the hospital. Initially, doctors suspected a concussion, but they quickly discovered that his condition was far more serious. Like many toddlers, little Colin was a ball of energy. So when his parents, Stephanie and Dylan, took him to his older brother's baseball practice, they knew they'd have to keep him entertained. As a result, Dylan and Colin enjoyed a game of hide-and-seek around their family car. Amidst the excitement, though, the youngster tripped and fell. Although Colin suffered a small cut to his eyebrow, he got right back up and started playing again. His parents, therefore, thought nothing of the incident. After all, he had fallen numerous times before with no issues. He's had worse falls before, Colin's mom, Stephanie, told the TV show, The Doctors. So they thought nothing of it and went to bed. However, overnight, the toddler's condition took a terrifying turn. The next morning, I went to wake up Colin, Stephanie explained, recalling the distressing incident. He couldn't sit up. I was just thinking it was the flu. But when I realized that he couldn't walk, I called my husband. Dylan rushed home, picked up Colin and Stephanie, and drove them to the hospital. At the emergency room, the concerned parents explained how their little one had fallen the night before. The doctors consequently figured that Colin had a concussion. To diagnose the suspected ailment, they conducted a CAT scan. However, the test results came back clear. Despite this good news, though, Colin's health was still in decline, and now the experts seemed stumped as to what the problem was. When he first arrived at the hospital, it was only his legs that Colin couldn't move. But as time passed, he lost the ability to sit up, and by the evening, the three-year-old was almost completely paralyzed. The only thing he could do was breathe, Dylan explained. He could not drink his bottle. He could not eat his food. He just lay there, Stephanie added. Then his oxygen levels started dropping. So the next day, they decided to do a spinal tap to rule out meningitis. Once again, though, the test came back negative. With Colin's condition still worsening, his parents began to panic. Consequently, they had their son transferred to a children's hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. It was only then that doctors discovered the shocking truth behind the toddler's illness. Colin got to the new facility just in time. Doctors told his parents that, had they arrived just 30 minutes later, his little body would have gone into cardiac arrest. Luckily, however, they were able to stabilize the child and get to the bottom of his condition. Upon examining the toddler, a team of infectious disease doctors and neurologists discovered a tick behind Colin's ear. It turned out that the little boy's paralysis was all due to this tiny creature. After the tick was removed, the toddler started receiving antibiotics, at which point he slowly began to regain movement in his feet. Little Colin had suffered from tick paralysis. The disease is caused by a neurotoxin found in the saliva of certain ticks, which then transmits to the host when the parasite feeds. Over the course of a few days, it destroys nerve tissue, causing paralysis. In some cases, the disease can be fatal, but Colin was saved just in time. As soon as the doctors removed the tick, Colin started to improve. Before his parents knew it, he was back to his normal, boisterous self. Stephanie and Dylan could not have been happier. However, his dad felt things could have been much different if they hadn't made the bold move to transfer their child. I think that if my wife and I hadn't made the decision to go to another hospital, I don't think he would have made it, Dylan admitted later. He and his family appeared via video link on the medical talk show, The Doctors, where Colin seemed to have made a remarkable recovery from his encounter with tick paralysis. During the show, Dr. Travis Stork explained that while tick bites are common, this particular form of paralysis is quite rare. He clarified that it is not related to Lyme disease, a bacterial infection that can cause long-lasting symptoms and is also transmitted by ticks. The neurotoxin resides in the tick's salivary glands, Dr. Travis told viewers. As the tick feeds, the neurotoxin enters the bloodstream, which in Colin's case led to what's known as ascending paralysis. It typically begins with the legs and results in the inability to walk. Stephanie and Dylan shared that ticks were a frequent issue in their Oklahoma home. We encounter ticks all the time, so Stephanie admitted. However, she never imagined that such a tiny creature could have such a devastating effect on her son. Fortunately, the disease is not expected to have a lasting impact on Colin. After being nearly paralyzed, he now has a hard time sitting still. His parents might be exhausted, 
but there's no doubt they prefer it that way.